Hey ladies, um, today is still Tuesday, April 9th. Um, I'm still 25 weeks and four days pregnant. Yeah, four days. Um, <laughs> and I did a, a video earlier this morning that I'm going to post. I'll probably post these both at the same time, but I just came on here again to rant. I know I ranted this morning too about nurseries, but whatever. This is a little more personal. Well, not personal, but, you know, it's just an experience I just had. And I figured I need to share it. So I'm on the train and I've talked to you guys before about how no one gives me seats on the train. And admittedly, I haven't been that big, right? I haven't really been that big. But today or now, I am more obviously showing Am I waddling? Is my stomach all down, you know, like all in front of me? No. And with a big coat on, I can cover it. Um, it's kind of cool here in New York today. Like yesterday was beautiful at 75. Today it's like barely 50. So I have on a, you know, not a heavy, heavy coat, but a heavier coat. I had on a heavier coat on my way home. And this little trick that I've been doing, I just want to see how people respond to me as being a pregnant black woman and a pregnant woman, but a pregnant black woman. Okay. Yeah. This is my life. This is, I have to deal with race. So, you know, I don't hide from it. And so I'm honest about what's going on. So I'm on the train. I unzip oftentimes when I get on the train, I unzip my coat. And I do that because I don't want to have to ask people for seats. I want to see if people will give me this a seat. To date, no one has given me a seat, by the way. No one. Not one person. But I want to see if people will offer me a seat. And now I'm large enough that if you 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 can tell I'm pregnant. And I'm I mean I'm not like, you know, all out here, but I'm large enough. So, this guy, I walk in on the train, the seats directly across from the door are priority seats for um, disabled and pregnant women. So, he looks at me, it's an Asian guy, I hate to bring race into it, but this is the world I live in. He looks at me, he, um, he looks at my stomach, he looks at me again, he looks at my stomach, and he turns away. So I could ask for the seat. I could ask for seats in that area, but I'm like, okay, I'm, I am one only for one stop. So, you know, that may change your opinion a little bit, but it's one long stop. So it's not like, you know, a minute, like you're, it's a while in between my, where I get on in the next stop, but it's only one stop. So I get on and, um, you know, he looks away. So I'm like, okay, whatever. So then the guy next to him, for whatever reason, decides to get off. Um, and so I took that guy's stop. Now that, I mean, that guy's seat, excuse me. That guy did not look it up at me before he popped up and, you know, ran off the train. I think he, I don't know. I don't really care why he got off the train, but he got off the train. But the guy next to him um, stayed on the train, stayed on the train, looked at me, noticed me, look at, looked at my stomach, made eye contact with me, looked at my stomach and turned away. So when the guy next to him got up, I, um, you know, took that seat. But then, like immediately thereafter, a, a, an Asian woman got on the train. Now, she was in her 60s, probably. Um, but he reached, the guy next to me, who was also Asian, he reached over me <laughs> to tap that woman on the arm to offer her his seat. And I was actually insulted. Like, yeah, I was, I'm not to say she doesn't deserve a seat, but you looked at me like I was like invisible. You looked at me, looked, made eye contact with me, looked at my stomach twice and then turned away. Yeah, you see her and then you auto, you automatically offer her a seat. So I was, I was somewhat offended. Maybe it's hormones. Maybe I'm being too sensitive. I don't know. You can let me know what you think. I may just be being too sensitive, but I decided that, you know, from this day forward, for the rest of this pregnancy at least, or for the rest of the time that I'm traveling while I'm pregnant, 
I am not, even this one stop train that I'm on, I'm not going to go without a seat. I am going to start asking people give me to give me their seats. And legally, you're supposed to because technically pregnant women and disabled people have priority and elderly. Um, this woman wasn't that old. She was probably in her 60s. I mean, I work with people in their 60s, like whatever, you know, but that's fine. You know, you, you offered her a seat. I'm not begrudging her the seat. What I am mad about is that the guy looked at me like I was just like whatever and it did not matter and wouldn't, and wouldn't give me a seat. And, you know, if they make eye contact with you and then look at your stomach and make eye contact with you and it was like look away, it's just kind of like, all right. Whatever. And again, I was a little like, I should ask for the seat because he, of what he, because I noticed him doing all that, but I didn't. So, I mean, I guess it's my fault. Um, so yeah. So that was my rant. I just, I mean, maybe I'm being too sensitive. I was offended. Um, maybe it's hormones, but I'm going to, regardless, I'm going to start asking for seats going forward. I will, when I get on the train, you know, it doesn't matter if I rub rub my tummy or have it showing now, like no one offers me a seat. So I'm going to start um, just asking for seats. Like, I mean, I might not even need to sit because I, I, a lot of times I'm, I, I can stand up for the seat, for the for the one stop and you know I'm a, I'm gonna mess around and wait till I'm too big and I won't want to sit because it'd be too hard to get up but um right now I'm at a point where I can get up and down easily and I think I'm going to go ahead and ask for the seat um another quick thing could I'm trying to figure out if I have sciatica I know that's a thing that happens to pregnant women often and in the last few days, I've been noticing um, pain on my outer left leg. Like, um, it comes and goes, but I've been having pain. I know that that can happen when the baby, if the baby presses on your sciatic nerve, which is like in your back or something like that. So, I'm hoping it's not sciatica. Um, I don't really want to deal with all that, but... Um, the joys of pregnancy and I guess motherhood. Is that what we call, is that what we're calling this? Um, but yeah, so I'm offended and going forward, I'm getting me a seat on the train. I'm not playing with these people. They want to get crazy. I'll go there with them. They don't know. Anyway, <laughs> quick bump check or so you can see that I am actually showing. It's not huge. I mean, I haven't been huge, huge. But, you know, this is where we are now. Um, I don't know if you can see, you know, for... From the front, it's still kind of, like, hard to tell. But that's a good side view, right? So, you know, baby's kind of, like, I don't know. That's where I am. But you can tell. Don't tell me you can't tell. You can tell. So, um, I think he should have tried to give me a seat, but whatever. Maybe he was overcompensating because he felt ashamed he didn't give me the seat. And then maybe that's why he gave it to the woman. But it was just, it was just so dismissive. And, you know, it's interesting because I've been doing this for the past few days and I'm noticing people turn away or look at me and okay, maybe they're not sure. Maybe they're not sure, but come on. I mean, it's, it's getting annoying. And most of the time I don't care, but when you look at me, make eye contact, look at my stomach and then look away, it's just kind of like, come on. But you know, what you got to do is just keep your head down the entire time, right? <laughs> like don't look up at me, you notice and then glance away and then look away, but don't, don't, you know, do all this, I don't know, obvious crap that he was doing. So, all right, ladies, um dogs i'm home so they're making noise but i will update you guys soon i just wanted to get on here and rant and i'll let you know i don't know if this is sciatica or not but it's like a pain like i said on the outer part of my leg um that goes probably like um from my mid thigh it has actually i've had i've been having back pain but it it does the, this pain doesn't start in my back it tends to go like damn my thigh and calf so i don't know what it is um it could just be a random pregnancy pain but um I'll keep you posted.
and let you know if it gets worse, if this is actually sciatica or something like that. I know it can present in a lot of different ways. So, um, I don't know. Has anyone had it? And if so, is this it? Um, all right. I will talk to you guys soon. Take care.